Okay, so we just finished making the roller. Um, I wanted to make a video for you to see how to make the follower guide. Okay, so we're going to create part studio. All right, we're gonna um, start a new sketch, tap the front, two finger tap, view normal, and we're gonna do a center point circle. We're gonna tap on the front, on the origin, tap outside, and as we look at our measurements, our measurements say that that circle is half an inch, so we're gonna um, select the outer circle and we're gonna make this half an inch. It's gonna go super small. So we're going to view normal, kind of pinch it back in. And then <clears throat> we're going to finish that sketch and we're going to extrude. And we're going to do regular extrusion, new, blind. But our measurement, as it says, is 3 sixteenths of an inch. So we're going to do 3, using that keypad, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so it ends up being like 0.188, that's our 0.1875. All right, and now you have this shape here. You're gonna start a new sketch. Use the precision selection tool to really make sure that you have selected the top of our cylinder that we just made. Okay, two finger tap, view normal. If ever you wanted to like double check, did I make it on the right? You can see that the origin is down at the bottom, and then your sketch is there, view normal. All right, we're going to do another circle, center point circle, tap in the center, tap outside. Now, the measurements on the blueprint actually don't say what the diameter of that is, so I looked it up on when I made it previously, and it's the diameter of that, so you're going to dimensions, is 0.75, three-fourths of an inch, okay? All right, now you're gonna finish that sketch. You're not going to extrude it, and you're gonna kind of zoom out so you kind of see it a little bit better. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to our sphere, and instead of extrude, you're gonna go all the way down to plane, okay? And you're gonna use your precision selection tool to select the area in between the two circles. So like you have this line here, and you have this line here, but it needs like a, a bigger surface to work off of. So you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have this space here, okay? And once you do that, you see that this like plane has been created. And then if you look at our space, it is one inch. So if you look at our offset distance, it is one inch. As long as you have that plane going upwards, there you go. So that's done. And now what you wanna do is start a new sketch and then use the precision selection tool again to make sure that you are selecting this square here that you've made. All right, two finger tap, view normal to sketch plane. Okay, bring it in a bit. Center point circle again. I'm gonna use my precision selection tool. Select here, and then let's see if it goes orange. Nope, but it's it's close. I'm still gonna give a dimension. And then we're gonna make it 0. 0.5. Same as our bottom circle, okay? Finish that sketch. And you wanna make sure you orbit and you kinda get this view where you can see both the circles. And then you go to your loft tool, which is underneath the, um, the sphere and you click on loft and you want to click on the circle and the circle, the two circles that you made, and it makes this cool loft tool. And then there you go, finish that. So now you have this shape here, very good. Now the last part for this is that we need to make the hole that goes all the way through, okay? So we're gonna start a new sketch. Precision selection tool, make sure that you are selecting the top of that cone that you've made, two finger tap, view normal, center point rectangle, tap on the center, tap outside, deselect the square, tap tap, our two adjacent lines, 
make them equal. We've been doing this quite a bit, right? The same in the, so a lot of the same steps. And then you're gonna do a dimension, 0.215, because that's what it says on our directions. There's our square. Okay, we're gonna extrude it, select the square. We don't want it going in that direction. So instead of result body operation type that says add, we want to change it from add to remove. You see it goes in the opposite direction. And then end type, where it says blind, you want to tap on that, and you want it to be through all. Okay, there you go. And finish that, and you are done. There's your follower guide. We're going to rename it follower guide, rename, rename, follower, guide. All right, I'm going to conclude this and then I'm going to make another video to show you how to do